because the theme of this year is water and food security, FAO was asked to lead this process because of his mandate on food security. So what we have done is taken a series of initiatives, stimulating also our regional office and our decentralized office in general, um, but not only our own, also the one of the other agency, to uh, take action toward awareness building on the, the problem, on the uh, food security issue. Generally, we drink between one and two, or at most three liters per day, to satisfy the physiological need of drinking. For household, we might have an additional 30, 40, or sometimes even a couple of hundred, depending on the lifestyle. But for the food need, the basic food need of a person, Every day, it requires at least 3,000 liters per day. If we don't intervene, if we don't take a responsibility, um, we continue to degrade our environment. We have already reached the level, the limits of, for instance, expanding the agricultural uh, area. We, otherwise, we enter into more forest, we degrade more biodiversity, wetlands, so we don't want to do that. And so this future demand has to come from what we have now. And in order to, to do that, we need to uh, act in, in, on, with this measure in order to preserve for the future generation the opportunity to produce more food, but with the same amount of resource. So the efficiency, the productivity is important. And we know how to do it. We needed to make this into practice. So from that side that we have a solution, I'm uh, optimistic. I may be a little bit more pessimistic because in order to move those actions on the ground, it may take a while. So we needed to move faster than what we are doing so far. The classical business as usual is not anymore an option. Energy crisis, the energy cost, the future demand for food, what we have seen as a um, crisis that has brought to the increasing of this price with the country that have reached limit of social stability because of the uh, food insecurity has been brought agriculture back to the attention. And I think we are now looking at agriculture as a part of the solution of all this problem. So if we invest both, not only infrastructure, but the human capital, knowledge, technology, in agriculture to have a more precise and more performing, but also more sustainable agriculture, this will allow us to release more water for the other sector. So if we invest in agriculture, we may also benefit from other sector, not only in agriculture per se. What we know is that initially, uh, water was not in their agenda for discussion. But as the time passes, now we know that it will be one full day event dedicated to the water. So we believe that uh, there is, you see, an, an awareness building also for the various nations, for the various ministries around the world to recognize the importance of water for the greening of the economy, for better institutional building, for food security, for water supply and sanitation. So for all this cross-sectoral, um, let's say, aspect and issue that need to be addressed and improved in terms of sustainable development. And water cannot be taken out from the picture. So we are positive, we are, let's say, expecting that something will come out from Rio with a higher attention on water.